How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Forza Horizon 5 released just over two and a half months ago and there are a bunch of mixed feelings about the game on whether or not the game is already dying, whether or not you know it's now boring and repetitive. There's a lot I want to touch on today and a lot I want to actually show you screenshots of regarding the current state of the game, whether or not it is repetitive, it is dying, whether or not new players are coming or new players are just bored. We're going to talk about all of that. Now if you do enjoy videos like this please do consider subscribing to the channel we're nearly at 140,000 and as I always say I want to know what you guys think let me know in the comment section below let's have a discussion what do you think of Forza Horizon 5 do you think the game is dying over time already do you still play the game every day and you get so much fun and joy out of it are you bored of it do you think it's repetitive and also are you a long time Forza player have you played all the previous ones or are you a newcomer to the series? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, Forza Horizon 5 has had record numbers when it comes to just simply the player count. Very, very recently, Forza Horizon 5 recently hit 15 million total exclusive players. Granted, most of these are going to be through the Game Pass, which can technically get the game for free, but it's quite interesting to see that Forza Horizon 5 has already hit 15 million. Just to put that in perspective, Forza Horizon 4 took 8 to 9 months just to reach 10 million, when Forza Horizon 5 hit 10 million in a week. Forza Horizon 3 took over 2 years, so that is a huge increase of just new players and more people playing the Forza Horizon 5 franchise. We can see exactly how the launch of Forza Horizon 4 went. It actually took almost a year to hit exactly the same amount of players that we already have on Horizon 5 in about two and a half months. Now I do have my own personal issues with the game and the franchise and I will get that to, to that in a bit and that does sort of relate to why the game might already seem like it's dying to some people. Player count and active players are two very different things. What we actually want to know is how many people are actively playing the Forza Horizon 5 title. How many, pay, how many people are enjoying it enough to play it constantly and not just bored of it already? We can't check how many people play the game on Xbox, however on Steam, as we know Forza is on Steam now, we can actually see how many people are actually active on the game. And it's very interesting to see that Forza Horizon 4 has had more players than Forza Horizon 5. That's very odd. We can see that over time, Forza Horizon 5 has just decreased quite steeply, and Forza Horizon 4 has sort of actually creeped up a bit. People have been going back to Horizon 4. As I said, this is only on Steam, so in general, there's definitely more people playing Horizon 5 in total, but on Steam, it's interesting to see that it's, you know, gone back to Horizon 4. And correct me if I'm wrong, I believe all of these Steam players actually had to have bought Forza Horizon 5. You can't get it through Game Pass on Steam, I don't think, which means all of these players that have decided not to play Horizon 5 again on Steam are actually people that have bought the game rather than just testing it out on Game Pass. On average it's about 10 to 15 thousand players at any given point playing Forza Horizon 5 on Steam, which is a big decrease from the 80,000 near launch. Now I love Forza Horizon 5, I still play it, I'm not bored of it, I don't really have any issues with how it is, but I can completely understand the issues that some people do have, especially hardcore players. The issue with Forza Horizon 5 being on Game Pass is the fact that there are such a huge amount of new players that have never played Forza Horizon before. Again, this isn't a bad thing, that means we've got tons of new players and just more players in general. However, it's quite obvious that playground games like to adapt their game to be very beginner friendly. There are genuinely not really any difficult or hard challenges or races or anything in Forza Horizon 5 that us hardcore players enjoy. We can see that many long-time Forza players are just finding the game a bit dull. The festival playlist is one of the only things that updates on a weekly basis to keep the game sort of fresh, and even people are finding that a bit dull and boring, especially after you've finished all the single-player stuff, which, if you're like me, again, you've played Forza quite a lot in the past, it doesn't take that long to complete all of the single-player stuff, especially if you grind. People actually go into detail explaining that, again, Forza Horizon 5 is just made for people who want to jump in a car, and just mess around, have a bit of fun, rather than have some intense racing and actually enjoy difficult races for once, you know, difficult scenarios. Now it's Game Pass players and new players that are going to be the type of people to just enjoy the game and want to have a bit of fun, and it's people like us and all the people who think the game are dying 
that want a bit of a challenge, they want some grinds, they want difficult things to do. There was a bit of drama going on last week which I'm now going to show you that was sort of within the Horizon community. You may remember the festival playlist has a weekly challenge which involved driving the Bentley. Now one of the challenges in this Bentley was to simply drive 100 miles. You can drive wherever you want, you just had to simply drive 100 miles in a Bentley. You could upgrade it, do whatever you want, that's all you had to do. There was a huge uproar of people complaining about this 100 mile challenge being too hard, too much of a grind. We don't want this, this is too hard. How can you expect us to drive 100 miles? Again, I'm being quite brutally honest here. I really enjoyed having a difficult challenge for once. It wasn't difficult, it just took you know, 15, 20 minutes just to do this one challenge and it was a bit of a grind. On Twitter there was all sorts of back and forth, you know, conversation about how, you know, this challenge was great, I actually quite enjoyed this, it was a bit of a grind for once. People actually want Horizon to give us more challenges like this. This is personally what Forza Horizon 5 is missing, challenges that are actually a bit of a grind. But one of the issues which comes with Forza Horizon 5 with this is the rewards are never quite that exciting. Forza Support actually made a post on Twitter and actually gave everybody 100 Forza Thumb points just sort of to make up for this challenge being too difficult for some people, which I thought was crazy. What they should have done is make the rewards for doing this 100 mile challenge even better rather than compensating for it being difficult in the first place. This is why it feels like Forza Horizon 5 is dying to lots of people because we're already getting sort of bored of all the festival playlists and everything like that. The new cars are exciting, yes, but the way we unlock those new cars is through the festival playlist which is really easy anyway. And what's disappointing about this is we are the minority. There are more people out there playing Forza Horizon 5 on Game Pass that are new to the game and need easy challenges then there are people like us who want a bit of a grind, want some really good rewards and want a bit of a challenge. Unless Playground Games really start to change up how Festival Playlist is done with the difficulty of challenges and the level of rewards, unless that's changed up then Fault Horizon 5 could get rather dull and boring for quite a few people, especially for the ones which aren't very interested in the new vehicles. If you don't like the new vehicles you have no incentive to do any of the Festival Playlist and it's just going to get rather dull. What we can look forward to though is the future of Forza Horizon 5. Let me remind you back to the launch of Forza Horizon 4. Forza Horizon 4 launched with no festival playlist, no Horizon promo, no route creator props, no eliminator and a very sort of dull Forzathon Live. There was genuinely not much to do at all and if Forza Horizon 5 launched like that it would have died very quickly. But it's interesting to see that over time eventually Forza Horizon 4 got huge updates, it got the festival plays, it got Horizon promo added, it got um, root creator props added, it got the eliminator added, it got Super 7 added. The difference between Forza Horizon 4 at launch and a year or two into the game was huge. Can we expect that with Horizon 5 as well? I think so. While Horizon 5 launched with Festival Playlist, it launched with Horizon Promo, The Eliminator, Brand New Horizon Arcade, Event Lab, it launched with all sorts. We can expect a lot more, like tons more. There are probably some new huge features like the Festival Playlist and the Event Lab that we have not even been given yet in Horizon 5, they're currently being worked on. What are those features going to be? We don't know but I'm fully expecting these features over time and these updates to really bring the game back into life and bring the players like me back to being very excited about the game again. People aren't talking about it that much, but in just a couple of weeks, we are getting a World Horizon World Cup competition in Horizon 5 and no one's talking about it. That's gonna be very exciting. But whether or not these features or whatever we're getting is gonna be good enough for real hardcore players to have a desire to play the game a lot again, we don't know. That's one of the issues with Forza Horizon 5, the player base is honestly split into two. You've got the Game Pass players which Playground Games seem to want to adapt to and really keep them playing the game rather than keeping the hardcore players playing the game by actually giving us reasons to want to play it. We'll have to see what's in store for the future of Forza Horizon 5 but at the moment it seems like it's getting rather dull already for quite a few players who have already sort of done lots of the single player stuff. As I said guys let me know in the comment section below what you think of all of this. You know are you experiencing this? Do you think it is dying? Do you think it isn't? What kind of player are you? Let me know. But in the meantime guys leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content 
and I'll see you all later. <laughs>